Welcome, Hive Minders. This is Shalazar with Hive Mind Gaming here with a Raid Shadow Legends video. We're going to take a look at Arena. Everybody should be testing their teams out, ready for the 3v3 Arena. So we're just going to give it a go here. We're going to try some stuff out here. Well, here we've got this punk there. Let's see if we can't uh, slow his roll with all this stuff going on. Let's try. He's going to lock some of us out. So some of us that don't have a really high resistance. So let's take a look at... Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. So we got Sifi in here taking, hopefully shutting down Tormin. Yep, looks like shut down her. So let's, Vax looks like she's been shut down. Looks like all of them have been shut down except for Sifi. Sifi, I've got a really high uh, resist on it's over 300 uh, make sure your CP is uh, got high defense high uh, resist that way you can take care of the things that you need to take care of um, she's really good at shutting down uh, when they don't have the uh, block debuffs up so she can like she can shut her down right there just waiting for everybody's stuff to reset we actually don't mind if she kill if they kill Valkyrie here. We need to get rid of her, but the problem is we're dealing with Chris over here, so Chris is going to be a is going to be an issue because he's going to continue to uh, put up stuff to protect his allies. His ally protects. So there we go. So now they just killed Valkyrie. So all those debuffs, those nasty nasty debuffs, are gone. We're going to throw her out, fills her turn meter, which is going to allow us to throw our defense up. And now everything goes on the defensive. Now, I could use that right there, but I don't think I want to use that quite yet. I think I want to go ahead and just attack, get her. Yeah, I was afraid of that. All right, so they threw out their own provokes there. But we still have our big shield. Falk throws out a huge shield. Arguably, I have two of the best tunes in the game, being Valkyrie and Sifi. If you guys disagree, let me know in the comments. Tell me who your favorite tunes are. I'm not a whale, so I don't have uh, a lot of tunes to, uh, to choose from. But the ones I do have, I, I, to I try to make complete and utter use out of. Like I said, utter. Uh, uh, see what I did there? Um, let's see. Sorry, that's just the country boy in me. All right. So now that we got a little of that out of the way, let's see. It looks like we still have a block debuffs over here. Uh, we still got to deal with our biggest. Our biggest thing is these two right here. Krisk being the one that's protecting everybody, and uh, our but our. Uh, Good, goodness gracious. This young lady right here, um, she is going to res anyone. But the problem is, with that, is that she is currently uh, bugging out where she's not always uh, resing. So we're going to shut Tormund down so he doesn't throw anything at us that we don't want. Ugh, I was afraid of that. All right. So that's on lockdown, so we're just going to attack with a regular attack. We're going to have to start sh slowing him down a little bit. Oh, crap. He's got block buffs up. So this fight's going on a little longer than I want it to. So we should just be just about ready to 
take Arbiter down. So let's go ahead and slow him down a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's the problem with the Ally Protect. It wakes them up from their sleep. So we have the chance. Let's just go ahead and sit down. See, Arbiter is not doing her job for some reason. I don't know why. They have been locking out my Madame Cerise all game long. So let's continue to shut him down. Uh, well, we're going to wake him right back up because we want to extend those buffs and kill her. Sit down. And now, at this point, we can just pretty much put it on auto. See, this is why resistance is good, kids. Because uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I, if I had higher resist on all my tunes, then that fight would have lasted a lot shorter time period. Because they would have resisted a lot of that stuff that was being thrown at them. Uh, unfortunately, the only one really resisting anything was was Sifi. So, all right. So let's go ahead and do this fight here. Go to the next one. We're going to keep the same lineup. And the reason we're going to keep the same lineup because this is more of a uh, speed team. Well. Most of the time, it's a speed team, and that's what we were waiting on. See, because with with uh, Sandlash in there, she could throw out her without having a turn. She can throw out her uh, Ally Protect and get her Protect from damage, and then that gives me a turn to protect my guys with Sifi or in Valk's case pull up the one that that went down and then boom Sandlash puts them on the bench and then the rest of the team just cleans house high defense on Sifi is a must kids high defense high resist keep that young lady alive and by young I mean dead and rotting keep her alive by can you say she's alive if she's dead and rotting I don't know anyway you want to keep her alive let's see how they do against Ray here yep same thing this is also good against the uh, the meta that's going on right now which is um, which is the blender which is having uh, a tune that causes all of their friends to attack with them, the ally attack uh, ability. Sandlashed will most definitely save your butt in that instance. What she usually does is, uh, or what they'll usually do is they'll come after Sifi because she's got the highest, uh, the highest stats in those situations. So they'll usually target her with the ally, the ally protect or the ally. Um, uh, assist attack and then what they'll do is they'll hit her Sandlash will pop her her ally her ally protect and she'll take no damage of that 50% and all the rest of the guys will only take 50% of the damage so it usually keeps Seafy alive and that's all that usually needs to be alive her and Sandlash as soon as that happens I pop up uh, Valkyrie Valkyrie sends up the uh, flare saying, hey guys, we don't want to die. So let's protect us with this giant shield. And then the rest of the team just uh, cleans house. So usually all I've got to do is keep Seafy alive and pop up Valk. And then eventually the rest of the team will uh, finish everybody off like this. So there's one more guy I would like to take a look at. For some reason, everyone seems to dislike this next guy. I don't understand why. He's uh, He does some killer damage. I don't have him booked out at all. I, I mistakenly put a book in, 
in one book into him, which is a complete waste. Uh, I think it takes like 15 books to, to book him out. But for purposes of something like this, where you're dealing with three healers and a nuker. So let's take her out and we're going to throw in this gentleman. He plays such a pivotal role in locking people out. I have a really high accuracy on him. I've got probably about a 300 plus accuracy on him. So we're going to throw out some protection stuffs to get us protected. And then he's the biggest threat. He's now locked out for five turns. We don't care about him anymore. Now he's just going to activate all of our all of our uh, counterattacks once we get counterattack up. So who do we want to shut down? We don't want you to heal anyone, so we'll shut you down. Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to wake you up now. Sit down, Ray. You're not wanted here. And sit down. Oh, yeah, and that's game. All right. Guys, Cillian the Lucky, he is ridiculous, guys. He has that crazy lockout. And see, in this one, because Arbiter's kind of broken right now, she won't really res. She kind of reses sometimes, but most of the time she doesn't. It's kind of stupid. So again, she resists all their cruel little buffs. We're going to... Yeah, we'll go ahead and pop that. Yeah, yeah, we don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't care about that either. Oh, that sucks. But anyway, let's see. Um, we'll go ahead and lock you down for a second. Doesn't really matter because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. You'll sit. You'll be sitting on the bench here in just a second. All right. Let's bring up Cillian. Oof, that hurt. All right. Have a seat, Cillian. Your, your time is done here. We'll just go ahead and finish the fight without you. That shield is gross, guys. Absolutely gross. And the fact that she throws up block debuffs kind of shuts down teams like this. They have to come eating their Wheaties to take on that team. Take on those two young ladies being Valkyrie and Seafy. Ridiculous team, guys. They are ridiculous. Um, let's see. Give me another example. This would be a hard team. Let's see if Cillian... Cillian will probably get uh, put on his... Keister by Rotus here in a second if I'm not mistaken if if he gets to go first that's usually who Rotus targets in these situations oh well he didn't well that's interesting he didn't even start with his his block revive um so in that case the biggest threat is this young lady and looky there we put a block cooldown on all of them except for her. So she's the biggest threat. So we're going to go ahead and lock her out for right now while we deal with these others. Yeah, Tormund, shut up. You're old news, Tormund. Have a seat, buddy. All right. Sit down, Rotus. You're not welcome here. All right, now we're just going to beat her down before she reses people. And this is his other ability. And sit down. And at this point, I guess we can just uh, put it on auto. All right, there you go, folks. Uh, two of the, the uh, characters or tunes that I use quite often 
to help me shut down some of these bigger teams toward the uh, latter end of Gold 4, which is Silly and the Lucky, which uh, is really good at, at locking people out. I don't have a huge roster, guys. I really don't. Um, so, because I'm not a well, I, I just play with what I've got. And uh, they're just a lot of fun. Um, you know, I don't have anything to do the blender. I don't, I mean, I guess I could uh, eventually if I wanted to. I could, uh, I could bring this guy up, but, uh, and make him a 60 and, and power level him. But as of right now, eh, I am enjoying what I'm playing with right now. So, um, let me know, guys, what, uh, what's some of your favorite combinations? What's, uh, tell me about, uh, a character that, that you have, uh, that, you know, you have hidden away as your favorite that no one else really plays with. Uh, give us a, give us a shout out. Maybe we'll try them out if I've got the character. If not, then, uh, see if someone else can, uh, can give a shout out and so people can take a look at it, get a better look. Because a lot of these guys that are doing these, uh, these videos, they're, they're, they're showcasing some of the they're showcasing people like Cefi and, and Valkyrie. Let's be let's be, be honest. Let's face it. Um, they're showcasing the ones that are that are just disgusting, disgustingly brutal. Now, is Cillian going to be good if they don't have Cefi and Valkyrie on the team? Yeah, he's probably going to be pretty good. Now, he'd have to be worked a little different. I'd have to make him a little more uh, uh damage resistant so he probably won't pump out as much damage but he'll be able to take a hit he'll, he'll need more more defense um he'll need more defense and more and more hit points currently he's not bad actually he doesn't have bad stats uh his speed's a little low um and his resistant his resist is absolutely tank I mean, absolutely gross. Uh, the idea is if he gets if he gets torn down, Cefi brings him right back up. Just to show you Cefi's, what I've got for Cefi on her stats. So her resist is around uh, 324. She doesn't need accuracy, guys. She she the, o the only thing she really puts on the other players is her is her sleep, and that can't be resisted. So she does not need accuracy. She does not need a, t a crit or crit damage. She's fine. She just needs speed, which she's not. My, my, mine is not the fastest. She's not the fastest out there. I, I try to get, I don't have a lot of gear like everyone else, so I got her as high as I could possibly get her. I gave her the best gear I have. So she is obviously my my uh flagship her and valk are my flagship tunes so uh but she's got a really high hit point and really high defense uh we don't care about anything else we want high defense high speed high hit points and then other than that we want high resist uh my valkyrie i managed to pull two valkyries so i'm building the other one up to be my clan boss valkyrie which uh, I will not be, uh, yeah, this is the, this is my arena. Um, so this is my arena Valkyrie. She has 34,000 hit points, 5,500, uh, defense, because she is a defense-based character and all of her damage, uh, not all of her damage, but almost all of her damage is defense. She does have an attack that does attack and defense, uh, based damage, um, her speed is okay, but the thing about Valkyrie is one of her passives is she's very jealous. So apparently, not only does she like to scantily clad, be scantily clad and get cold in the, at night, uh, but she gets jealous when people cast uh, buffs. So what she does is her speed increases. She gets more speed. So I usually don't have an issue with her speed in the arena. Now, for Clan Boss, I had to make my Clan Boss Valk a little bit faster because she, and that's probably a little too fast if I, if, to speed speed tweak. I'm going to have to work on that a little bit, work that around. 
Uh, but uh, for Clan Boss, she doesn't need the accuracy because the only thing she really uses accuracy for is her A1 that helps her uh, drop turn meter. You can't drop turn meter on the boss, so she doesn't care. Doesn't care about resistance because we run Cfi, so hopefully Cfi's got the block debuffs up. So we don't care about those two stats in Clan Boss. So, uh, so what we're really working with, we want our a high, we want to give her a high crit rate, a high crit damage. It's not very good crit damage, but to be honest, the only thing she's really, she really, you really want her to have, the things that matter the most is the high speed, and the high defense. And the, what the high defense is going to do is give her a bigger shield to give to everyone. Um, the problem is I don't have her f fully booked up, and she's not going to be very effective without being booked up. So I don't actually have her ready to run in Clan Boss. So currently I'm using this one, which is completely off on Masteries. So currently I'm about a 3-4 to four book Ultra Nightmare. Um, I run, just to show you. So I run, uh, yeah, Tayrell, Sandlashed, Valkyrie, Frozen Banshee, and Seafy. So, but hey, guys, if you like what you, this is getting kind of long. So if you like what you uh, hear or have heard, uh, go ahead and give me a like, and uh, go ahead and leave some comments or uh, or subscribe to the channel. That every every subscribe like and comment really does help i do appreciate you and uh hope you come back to uh see some more i'll be posting more videos shortly thanks guys have a great day